Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to uh, Miami University's 2009 Letter of Intent Signing Day celebration. I'm Steve Baker, the voice of the Red Hawks. Happy to have you with us here at the Gross Center Multipurpose Room. And also want to welcome, welcome in the many people who are watching us live via the Internet and our Miami All Access Portal. Happy to have you folks with us tonight as we celebrate the announcement of the newest class of Miami Red Hawks for Miami women's cross country and track and field, Miami field hockey, and for Miami football. Up first in tonight's celebration, I'd like to welcome to the stage woman who in her first few months at Miami University has made an immediate and lasting impact on the cross country and track and field programs. After taking over the reins in late summer, she guided the women's cross country program to a Mid-American Conference Championship. And now with the indoor track and field season underway, the Red Hawks, as a matter of fact, swept the field last weekend at the, Qu at the Kent Invitational. The uh, Red Hawks announced four athletes joining the fold today. And to talk about them, please welcome Miami women's cross country and track and field head coach Rita Art Mullis. Coach, thanks for coming out and talking with us here today. Uh, obviously a busy time. Track and field indoor season is underway. Not long ago you finished cross country and you go right into the outdoor season. Talk about getting out and recruiting athletes, number one. It has to be difficult. You're the only coach that really competes from the beginning of school year to the end of school year. So talk a little bit about that. Yeah, we should definitely make sure Brad Bates hears that because um, <laughs> it is tough. Um, we are the only sport on camp on campus that goes fall, indoor, and spring season. And, um, you know, it's a challenge, but it's something that we're used to as a staff. Um, and I'm lucky enough to have both Coach Meineke and Coach Rodriguez, who do a great job. And, you know, on the Saturdays that we compete, we're with our team. And then sometimes we get out on Sundays to see um, high school kids compete. And then on our off weekends, we hit the road again. So we just kind of keep it going. You signed four athletes or get uh, four commitments today. And on cross country, Mid-American Conference Championship, out of that team, you only lose one athlete, Rebecca Hollander, who was part of the team last year. So you're just, with three distance athletes as, as three of the four signees, you're just adding to the fold in cross country. Yeah, I think, um, and it was, you know, it was pretty clear to me when I interviewed at Miami um, and now being here. I mean, conference championship should be our baseline for success. Um, what we're really after, frankly, is to be a nationally competitive team. And I think that these three women, in addition to, um, you know, a year more with the girls on the team now, um, you know, I think it's really realistic for us to be a top 20 program in the nation next year. And um, so long as I stay, stay out of the way and don't screw that up, um, but it really, you know, we hope to have conference championships in our office um, and in our program every single year. And, and the next step for us, obviously, is to get to the NC2As and make some noise up there. Well, when you take a look at the four athletes that you signed today, as I said, three distance runners, also a track athlete that a uh, high jumper and 4x4 four four relay uh, make up this year's class. Let's start talking about the distance runners to start with. Okay. We'll start with Katie Gillespie, a Cuyahoga Valley, Ohio uh, native, Ohio Division II state cross country champion uh, last year, also competed in the 16th. 1,830, 200 meter, as well as the 4 by 800 relay. Tell us about her. Yeah, Katie is a real prize for us as a recruit. I mean, um, you know, she was looking at very seriously Penn State, um, University of Colorado, and University of Wisconsin. So three um, historic distance programs in the nation. And to be able to keep her in Ohio and bring her to Miami is a real coup for, um, for Miami, frankly. You know, this is a girl that knows how to win, not just as an individual, um, but as a team. Her team won the state championship last year, too. She's got incredible range. Um, she's very effective down to the mile um, in that five-minute range. But also, you know, she ran 17.33 for 5,000 meters um, this past year as a senior. So she is um, going to come in and immediately, you know, be a top three runner for us. I mean, she will make us better right off the bat. Um, she was a great recruit. I'm really excited. And beyond that, like, her family's just really... They're solid. They're behind her. They're excited. They promise that they bring brownies to the meets, which is for me only. Um... <laughs> It's really, like, I'm very excited for her to be on our squad. One of the things we talked about before we uh, began here is you concentrated in Ohio, and you continue to concentrate in Ohio. Our next athlete, Cincinnati. You didn't have to go far for Alana Sontag, uh, four-time All-State cross-country runner and has earned Ohio, uh, all Ohio honors at both the 1,632-meter distances. Yeah, you know, um, my very first weekend here at Miami, um, I went up the street to, to a high school invitational and did some recruiting up there, and that was the first time that I saw Alana. And, you know, I'm pretty sure she didn't win that race, but you know when you see someone running um, – if they've got their foot to the floor and they're really working hard or if it's just 
easy. Um, it's easy for Alana. Um, she really, she understands um, her parameters. She understands how to work under pressure. And I saw her run and I thought, gosh, she's the best one here. Um, and then I went and talked to her coach, um, Coach Popoff at Sycamore. And um, he was like, oh yeah, you know, she was fourth in the state last year. I'm like, well, well there you go. That's why I have my job. Um, so she's really, really special. And, um, and again, her being local, 30 minutes away, it's an opportunity for us to impact at the state level. And I do want to make sure Miami is the go-to place for um, for all track and field um, and cross-country athletes, women um, in the state. Let's move on to a Hoosier from Indianapolis, Indiana. Emily Mosler, runner-up at the 2008 Indiana State Cross Country Championship, also qualified at the uh, track and field state championship last year at 3,200 meters. Tell us about it. Yeah, that. Emily's really special, and actually um, her coach is a, a, a college teammate of mine. Um, so he called me and said, Rita, you got to check this girl out. And I'll be honest, her, her track and field marks are not, um, you know, they're not lights out, not yet. Um, but he said, you know, I just started coaching her this year. There's been some changes. She's really working hard. You've got to keep your eye on her. Um, you know, this is a girl who Indiana unlike a lot of states um, in the country they only have one division so if you are the Indiana state runner-up you are the Indiana state runner-up um, even here in Ohio we've got three different divisions so um, she went from not qualifying for the state meet last year um, to being second in the state as a senior which is remarkable um, and it's a testament to her and and her um, work you know work ethic so I expect that those track times are going to be even more um, competitive this season I know her winter training is going really well but she came to Miami and you know big surprise fell in love with it uh, weird um, so it, it was really it's great and again great family great support it's nice that we're gonna be able to have some parents um, traveling around the country being our fans our track athlete that you signed, uh, the fourth athlete, Laura Garrett from Anna, Ohio, four-year letter winner at Anna High School, competed in the high jump as well as the 4 by 400 meter relay, Division Three state high jump champion. She set a new record at that meet. Interestingly enough, you talk about recruiting athletes. She also played volleyball at Anna, was on the 2006 state championship team that went 30 and 0. Sounds like quite an athlete. Yeah, no, I mean, the girl understands how to win, which is crucial. Um, and beyond that, you know, if we're going to be an effective track and field program, there's 21 events, and we've got to have athletes that aren't just specialists. I mean, clearly, um, the high jump is going to be her go-to event, but if she can run on a 4x4, four four, if we can get her at some other events, I mean, Coach Meineke is um, a fool for the multis. He wants everybody to be a multi-athlete, so um, you know, there's an opportunity for him to kind of develop some other areas with her, but athletic, tall, I got a chance to watch her jump um, last week or the week before that over at an indoor meet and you know she just pops off the ground very dynamic um very exciting it's great that she's a um you know a state champ and a state record holder and that she's joining us here in oxford you know you take a look at these four athletes and, and everybody's heard it state champion state runner up uh their teams won state championships quite a pedigree of these four athletes how do you see them impacting your cross country teams and your track and field teams as they come in as freshmen well i hope this is just the start i mean i'll be honest four is a good um jumping off place for us but i hope to double our recruiting class by the end of the season so we'll get more of that. Um, we want to be competitive at a national level. I mean, I, I really do feel like MAC championships should be our baseline standard for success. And, um, and we will kind of go forward with that in mind. But these are the kind of kids that can qualify for the NC2A regionals. Um, and then as they get older and as they get stronger, they can advance to the NCAA finals. And we can start scoring as a program um, on the track at a national level. And that's really, really important um, to our staff and to the administration here. So um, they're all they're outstanding, outstanding athletes. And they're going to take Take us to those goals pretty quick. I, you know, I've been recruiting. You know, I'm not that old. Um, I've been recruiting for about seven years at the collegiate level, and particularly on this distance side, I can't remember having a stronger recruit class um, at Michigan State or at South Florida. And you know, we were fifth in the country one year at Michigan State with um, recruits that look a lot like this. So. Um, I'm excited. Like, I really feel very strongly about what we've got in place. We said at the top how busy uh, you are right now with recruiting and competing. Your track and field team is competing at two different events this weekend. Uh, some of the athletes competing in South Bend at the Notre Dame Mayo Invitational, others at the Rod, Rod McCravey Classic in Lexington, Kentucky. Uh, I mean, you have a great staff, and I'm sure you find a way to manage it, but you got two different places in two different directions you got to go. Yeah, and, you know, we try to stay together as a team as frequently as we can because I do believe in that team dynamic. But the truth be told, I mean, there are different meets throughout the country that have different strengths. And um, Kentucky this year is hosting the SEC championship, so they've got a lot of SEC schools down there. It's going to be really strong in the throws, the jumps, the sprints. Um, and then heading up to Notre Dame, I mean, they're, they've got a traditional um, – you know, distance carnival of sorts up there. It's a really 
um, elite meet. And I think it's just important that we grow these athletes' perspectives. I mean, if we want to be one of the best teams in the country, we might as well see some of those kids um, during our season. So we'll split up this weekend, um, which which will be fine, and then we'll come back together for one good meet um, before the, the MAC championships, which is in three weeks.